In this video, we're going to talk about an NFT from a major sports brand, and the price just dropped a bit, and it's a good entry point. But more about that after this intro. Hey, happy Friday, everyone. I'm bringing you another video from my back deck here, watching the little one outside play. It's a really nice day. Um, so I am migrating for the day. Guys, today I'm bringing you Adidas Originals into the metaverse. Right now, this is at a higher price point, 1.25 entry price. I really like looking for the low entry price plays, but at this point in this bear market, it's hard to find anything under 0.5 ETH that's been good. I normally try to bring you those, but this, I think right now, this is the best one I can bring you for the day. So here's the play on this one, guys. Here's what happened originally, and then I will just explain um, uh, a little bit about the project. So recently, they had a merch drop just yesterday. And so you can see here the price leading up to the merch drop. It was going up a little bit, up a little bit, and it was around 1.7 ETH. And then after they had the merch drop, everybody sold their NFT, so the price dropped a little bit. And so that's why it's a decent buy-in point right now because of that merch drop event that pumped it a little bit. And they sold out, so you can get in for a reasonably decent price at 1.25 normally if you look at the price action here i mean even in april it was sitting at close to that 1.7 1.8 price range and so uh the thought is that this 1.25 will should rise uh you know may maybe midterm maybe like a few weeks to a couple months it should at least get back up to that 1.5 1.6 1.7 1.8 range and so that's the play for this um and when you look at this there's two versions to get. There's a phase one and a phase two. You want to go for the phase two because the phase two is the next merch drop they're going to do. The phase one merch drop they already they already did, so it's it's uh, doesn't have that much utility at this point. So let's quickly talk about this uh, NFT, guys. Adidas is a strong play. Obviously, Adidas is a good brand. Yeah, so here's... You can see phase one, phase two. Go for phase two. So... Um, in the metaverse, brands that do well in, 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 in the physical space are going to do well in the metaverse. That's my thesis because people who, who want to flex um, in, in, in real life are going to want to do the same thing in the metaverse. So brands like Adidas, brands like Gucci, all the brands that are famous now in the physical space should do well in the metaverse. Other thing is Adidas was one of the original uh, big brands that entered the NFT space. And so things in the NFT market tend to do well if it's original. NFT space just seems to like that. So um, that's why I think this is a strong project. Going to their website here. Um, <coughs> as you can see here, they've got some really good collabs. I mean, they've got a collab with uh, Board Ape Yacht Club, uh, G Money, who is a well-known influencer in the space, comic uh, punk space. Um, one thing I want to point out that you can see why I think – the more Adidas does in this space, the more you're going to see pumps because Adidas tends to do things with the, they really like to innovate in the NFT space. They really want to get into the into the, the the metaverse. They want to they want to make some make waves in the metaverse. And so um, I think you'll there's going to be lots of opportunities to see pumps with this thing. Giving you an example here, um, if I go to their Discord, you can see that on ugh, it's so slow. In, in their Discord uh, on April fourth. They announced, here it is right here, yeah, April 5th, they announced uh, Ozworld, which is creating an avatar uh, in the metaverse. And when they announced that on 4 5 in the Discord, you can see what happened to the, the, um, the NFT. Uh, well, if it ever shows up, basically on April 5th, when they did announce that, <clears throat> it pumped. Um, yeah, look at that. It pumped all the way up to, you can see here above 2. You know, yeah, above two. And so Adidas is one of those brands that really wants to be a player in the NFT space or in the metaverse. And so I, I see uh, a lots of potential opportunity for pumps as they make these announcements. So by holding one of these NFTs, you can benefit from that. Especially right now, you want to buy when everybody's selling because that means it's a good entry price. Uh, everybody sold because of that merch drop. So now is a good time to get in. Um, and I see this just naturally going up in price. Um, you know, in, in the in the short term, but mid mid to long term hold, it should be a good one. Um, I think that's all I want to cover for this. Hey, the beast. I think that's all I want to cover for this, guys. Uh, yeah, here's the Ozworld. You, you realize it cut me off, so I'm just finishing it up. I was talking about Ozworld. Ozworld is something that Adidas has really been 
working on to try to roll out. I think they put a lot of effort into it, and it is causing some excitement. It's basically, I think I said it earlier, an online av- or a, 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 an avatar uh, for you to uh, play with in the metaverse, and they're having lots of, uh, they're giving you lots of uh, customization features and things that I think will generate a lot of interest. Like I said, uh, Adidas tries to be innovative in this space, and I think they're going to do something special. I think there's a lot of hype around it. People are excited about it. So uh, see lots of or watch out for news about Ozworld and this avatar that people can create. And I think by holding the Adidas Originals NFT, you can be a part of certain pumps that they will be having because we have seen that in the past. So that's that. That's all I got, guys. Um, if there's anything or if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, if, if this helps you, please like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.